Welcome, welcome to the Interval Show. We've got a couple of winners. We winners. do. Yes, we've got Monica Dolan and Chris Wally, Best Actress Hello. and Actor in a Supporting Role. Congratulations Thank to you, you both. Congratulations Thank you so much. to you both. Thank you. Monica, how do you feel right now? Um, well, <laughs> um, it's a pretty extraordinary feeling. I mean, I really, really didn't, as I said up there, I really didn't imagine that I'd win at all because I'd seen all the other performances and I thought they were incredible performances. Um, it was a great... All. Yeah, Very I did, just, well just by chance. Um, I, I, I'd seen all of those plays. I mean, they were, they were really good plays, so I made, made it my business to see them. But, um, yeah, I, I didn't I expect it. I competition. Pardon? I up the competition. Eyeing up the competition. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, at that stage, when their plays were on, they, you know, I mean, Karen was sort of a twinkle in my eye, so I didn't, I didn't know at all. What, it, it was, what was an incredibly happen. tough category, but Monica, well deserved. It was deserved. a really tough category. Well deserved. I mean, yeah. And what went through your mind when they called your name for Lieutenant Vinishmore? I, I genuinely, and it sounds like the cliche thing to say, is that when they said my name, it just felt like white noise, and it was my dad was next to me, just going. Aah! And I was like, when he was doing that, I was like, oh, I have won. <laughs> it was he confirmed for me by 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 cheering in my in my face. I honestly, came off stage and went straight into all these interviews, and I it's still so feel a bit it? like it feels like I'm kind of only like. Well, it feels well, very cloudy. But wasn't yeah. it, I don't really feel like me. Yeah, yeah no, it's, 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 it's strange. You were still in drama school five minutes ago, weren't that's, you? That's yeah, astonishing. Yeah, that's yeah. absolutely astonishing. Yeah, yeah I was mad. Well I got, yeah, I got cast in um, the play and I, I got to leave early. It was this time last year, actually. And I mean, that was a dream come through to work with Michael Grandage. And yeah. Martin McDonough has always, like, his films and, and plays have always been my favourite plays. I, I had hit one of his monologues to get into drama school from The Pillow Man. So that was the dream. And uh, to be honest, and, and this was just so... When I got nominated, I was just like, what? And so, yeah, it's just mad. Sorry, I'm probably not even making any sense. No, you're making all. perfect sense. Yeah. We are all looking at you, I think, yeah. in the same way. And it's real. Yeah. it's real. It's yeah, real. It's definitely yeah, yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, Karen, I have to ask, you know, he mentioned Mark McDonough you, and, and Michael Grandage. Mm. You got to work with the great director, Ivo Van Hova, yes. with this interpretation of All About Eve. Yeah. I mean... How do you rehearse a piece like this that deals with video projections and the audience and, you know, then you're back in a room and it's just you in a video? It's actually really exciting. I mean, it's, it's very challenging, but it uses, um, it uses a lot of your skills. And for me as well, um, I, 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 I have direct address to the audience. I'm, I'm talk, you know, it's, it's Karen's story. She's, she's sort of the storyteller. So, but you are switching sometimes within a scene from um, camera and your audience is here to your, your audience is here, you know. So, so it, it's, ve it's very exciting and challenging and there's a lot of hit and miss in the rehearsal room and um, an, an awful lot of trial and error. But by the time we got to perform it, actually I didn't feel like so many people have said, oh, do you feel like you're switching techniques? And I didn't necessarily. It just felt lots of the camera stuff is in a private space, like in the bathroom in a restaurant. So you, you feel, you know, sort of private and that suits itself more to the camera anyway. And I'm sure that's not an accident. I'm sure that he thought of all that before. Well, congratulations yes. to you both. Have Thank an amazing you Drink you all relax. the champagne you can tonight. Absolutely. Well deserved. Already had we can't wait glasses. to keep an eye so on you, nice. Chris, to see yeah. what you do next. I don't think I've done this Thank many you. interviews with this many glasses yeah. of champagne. Just keep yeah. drinking. Just keep drinking. The night is young. There's Thank still a you guys. The size of that bottle outside. Oh, yeah, we're good <laughs> to get back to it. Don't forget your awards. Take your awards. You can leave your microphones. Thank you so much. Chris and Monica, winners. Winners, winners. Congrats. Just, I mean, when he, you thank you, when he walked on and said, oh, it's my first job out of drama school, imagine all the actors in there going, oh, eye roll. I mean, what a treat. Hello. Gloria oh gosh, Estefan. Gloria, so Hello. good to see you, my friend. Welcome, Hi, welcome, welcome. How Absolutely are you? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Have a seat. Gloria, welcome to the Olivier's. Thank you so much. I am what so a show. thrilled, thrilled, thrilled. The last time I was on that stage was in a concert that I did in 2013 for the standards, and to be on the other side of it is so incredible. Isn't it an amazing auditorium? It is incredible, the history and yeah. the, the energy, it's, it's just incredible. Tell us about your show, tell us about why you're, you're here You're coming to, to the West End, and Krista, yes. you're starring in the show, tell us all about it. Yes, I'm very excited. We're actually finishing up the first national tour out in the States, we finish next week. Um, we're very excited to bring this show, this story, to represent this woman. I mean, she's worldwide, so we're very excited to share her story about hope and inspiration. I'm always excited to do it. Uh, on Your Feet, the Tony Award-winning musical, 
was on Broadway, now First National Tour, and now London, the story of Gloria and Emilio Estefan. Yeah. Just wa wanted to get the title out there. Yeah, thank you. Good. And I'm sorry Emilio's not here. He couldn't come out this time. But uh, yes, this has been, what a ride. I mean, you've been playing me almost three years three or more. Years. Yeah, it's at, been a ride. I don't know, you're not for bored sure. and didn't slap me. I well. can't. It's Here so hard not to. It's I've so hard not to. <laughs> Is it weird to, to play someone you've gotten so close to? And to, for someone, Gloria, I apologize, I mean your presence, but who's such an icon. I oh, mean, it, it's just gotten, in the beginning, it was quite a whirlwind, and I was a little bit overwhelmed. But as I've gotten to know her, it's just become home, and it's become so comfortable, and I just get on stage and getting to to know her as a, as a human being, aside from this global superstar, it makes it so much easier to just represent the honest woman that she is, the giving woman that she is. I mean, it just makes it oh, so much I'm so, so, easy. Yes. so easy. It helps that she's also Cuban and from Miami. And there you go. And <laughs> you know, to get that similarity. And, a little I, bit. and I have to say, Anita, I've seen Christy do the show a few times now, yes. and she does Gloria. Beautifully. I can't oh, wait to see it. I cannot. I mean, there's a whole nation of over 60 million people in the UK who are excited to see it. We're ready to come. We're ready to come. They're ready to so come. Up. This, uh, they're bringing the fire this summer here. The heat. Yes. So, but the good kind of heat. It's, it's, I mean, what's it like to see your life up there? A musical of your of your uh, life, Gloria? You know what? We feel blessed and privileged, Emilio and I, every time we see that play performed. And we always think, oh, we'll get through it without crying this time. Well, there's always some point in the, in the musical that reminds us, throws us back to that moment in our life. And we feel so incredibly privileged and blessed to have that happen and to have people enjoying it. And doing through theater, what we tried to do with our music was to connect, to connect people all around the world. And it's happened so far, and we're thrilled that it's coming to the West End. Now, will you guys see shows while you're in town? I've already seen. Last yes. night, I went to see Come From Away. Oh, my gosh, I was blown away. I saw Patti LuPone, thank God, when I was here last time, in company, which also blew me away. We, we try to get as much you're in as good, we can. You're good, Gloria. You keep up yep. on your theater. No, I, I love she theater. Does. <laughs> I've been, she does. The first theater I ever went to, I was 17, and it was in Miami. My mom didn't know, and it was Equus. Hello, that was also my first <laughs> naked man that I ever saw. So Welcome theater, to the theater. <laughs> theater has really been a great part of my She's life. She's never looked back since. <laughs> Gloria, it's so wonderful to have you Thank here. Olivia having Thank an incredible you very second much. Thank you Enjoy your the West night. End. Thank we you love so this. Much, Can't wait to see you in the Thank summer. You both. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you, to see you as well. Don't forget your champagne. Oh, no, we won't. Gloria I mean, a legend, an icon. One legend to two more. To we two are going to welcome to our sofa Sally Field and Bill Pullman the, are on their way in. They're just, just chatting with Gloria just, Stefan. Sally, come and join us. Have hey, a Sally. seat. Welcome. How are you? Welcome. <laughs> Bill, come and take a seat. Hi, Sorry, Bill. Good to you? see you, Frank Tulella. Anita, pleased to meet you. Hi, Sally. Anita, nice welcome to, to the Olivier's. Welcome to the West End. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, like just yes. watching you guys before we just came on, I asked who. What is the statue and who, oh, whoa, Olivier, but what part? Do you know? I mean, do you know? Yes, I know. Well, look, we can take uh, an quick. educated is guess, it right? Yeah. Is it Hamlet? It's Go Olivier, ahead. yeah, but it's, it's Henry V. Henry, Henry the Fifth. Okay, that, I mean, I was about to say. It at the old Vic, where we're, we're getting good. Okay. Yeah. How are rehearsals going? You are coming to, well, you're in, you're in rehearsals right now for? Yes, we are. All my sons. We don't sons. know. You can't a answer that. You That's can't a, answer that. Okay. No one can ever the answer worst that. Worst timing question. to we're, come in here. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're we're we have our first preview on Saturday, so we have no idea who we are, where oh, we wow. are, why close? we are, if we are. It's nice well, to be among theater people who also understand. <laughs> there you go. How, how are you guys enjoying being in London and working in London, rehearsing in London? I, that basically, that's all I know right now is is my my wonderful little little like flat, and then the car and the old Vic. I mean, that's and and markets. I've been looking for markets where I can get food. Uh, but the, I, you know, when they say how is it working in London, I don't know. I haven't really been in London yet. Sally, you, on have the you other not hand, been have been in London. Sally, have you not been for a pint in a pub yet? Has no one and taken you? It isn't that they haven't offered. You haven't had time. She's hard at work doing She's Arthur working. Miller. They're busy. They're busy. You're doing I'm, Arthur Miller. I don't have time. It's and I'm I'm so exhausted and and old and dragging myself <laughs> home. <laughs> yeah. Your I, West End debut for both of you. I find that quite hard to believe, actually. Yeah, yeah. I did, uh, the first production I ever saw uh, at the Old Vic was in 1973 when I was in college. And I so to come full circle and to be able to do this play with Sally 
here, American play, is a great honor. But it's a very tight little shoebox, isn't it, that theater, the old Vic? Well, the rehearsal room is. We haven't <laughs> we haven't been out of that yet. We'll, no. we'll... But our finding our way around there has been I, really I, good, but great honor. I have to ask, you know, we're also getting a production of All My Sons on Broadway, and there's been this resurgence of Arthur Miller of late. I think, you know, Arthur taps into something in various, in, in a variety of his pieces. I think it's timely doing All My Sons right now. Why do you think we're seeing more and more Arthur Miller nowadays? I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I think this place particularly is extremely timely, what it's about. Uh, in both this country and certainly in the United States. Um, it was written in 1947, but it completely applies to today. Um, so that's probably why people are picking up on it. Um, at All the these same things time. are happening while yeah. we're doing it. I yeah. mean, the, you know, when you think about buried shame that gets unearthed, and you look at that college admission scandal, and you look at manufacturing that uh, defects that get buried, and you look at the Boeing thing that happened, it's all pertinent to this play. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Are you very excited to be show performing? Continue. We are going to get you back yes. in there. You won't miss a second off. Are you excited to be in London to be performing on a West Ed Shade at the Old Vic? You said it was in the 70s that you saw your first yeah. show there. What does that really mean? really great. It's such a great honor, yeah, to be able to. And I get, get to see a few plays which Sally didn't get to see. See, but you know, you get to see it's a saw, high bar. I saw, I saw it's a fun. high bar. You saw, saw company, right? Patty. I was gonna say, I saw you. Uh, yes, I, saw I saw a saw post about you seeing company. Patty, right before we went into rehearsals, and I haven't seen anything since. Uh, but um, you know, like I say, we're in the we're in the midst, and you're doing yikes. the work, Sally. <laughs> but yikes! I have to go home basically <laughs> and sleep. Well, congratulations yes. to you both. Welcome to the West Welcome. End. Thank, Thank you. you very we much. can't wait to come and see you at the Old Vic, and good luck. I'm sure it'll be, we can't wait. We can't oh, wait. Right. Thank you, Bill. Thank and you. speaking of company, we're actually going to see a clip of a previous performance from earlier tonight from Company. We're joined now by Mr. Olivier himself, Julian Bird, the executive producer of the Olivier Awards. You're having a good night. Uh, yeah, starting to. You know, we have an have, where's your glass of where's champagne? Where's your glass of champagne? No, 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 it's too early. Too early. Too early. Still you know that story about the Oscars? So the, the guy, when the year that the Oscars went wrong and they gave it oh, to the yeah, wrong thing? Oh, yeah, they're wrong. It's there not going to happen. There's a story that he, he had a glass of champagne and then it, that's when it happened. So right. No I champagne yet. I have to put it out there. 43rd show, first royal show. Best show yet, Julian. Best Julian, show. you're killing it. You. I mean, you know, Honestly. We have, another, we have another act to go. So, I know. Uh, no, it's all, it's but, you know, look, some extraordinary performances. I think it reflects uh, the strength of London theatre at the moment that you know what, what diversity you've seen already you know from Adrian Warren just literally at the end of that act extraordinary but you know come from away and Lion King's 20th anniversary which that's a world exclusive that version never been done anywhere in the world in 20 years and to open the show so it's great and I think Julian it's important to point out that there is this constant dialogue between Broadway and the West End I mean you guys are sending stuff over to us all the time and uh, in fact you know a great new play um uh, many new plays have been celebrated tonight, and uh, Lima trilogy that's yeah. you know um, heavily nominated tonight uh, has just opened at the Armory in New York. Uh, there's rumours of all sorts of other ones, as you know, Frank. Yeah. And uh, um, you know, it's fantastic, isn't it? And come from away has just come here from America, um, and that kind of transition and exchange, not just of productions but of actors and creatives, right. is kind of extraordinary, I think. And how great, you know, you've just had Sally and Bill in, and you know, they're just about to open at the Old Vic here. So that natural thing, and we're working very hard to ensure that productions can travel at ease, if you like. Absolutely. Well, it's another incredible evening. I know we've got a second act to go, so stop buying up my champagne, Julia. <laughs> Have Later a wonderful evening. We'll catch up with you Thanks to you too as well. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's see a clip from Tina from earlier this evening. Talking of new musicals.
so we're here with Arthur Darvill. Arthur, I, you're hosting an awards tonight. I am presenting two awards. Two awards. Uh, supporting actor and actress in a musical. Two big categories. Two big categories. I know, I know. It's very exciting. What have you seen this year that's really stood uh, out I saw you? Company. Uh, I saw Tina. I thought Adrian was amazing. In yeah. that. Yes. But, uh, that performance as well just then was, She's was sensational. incredible. Uh, my favourite show of the year was Misty. Uh, Rinze yes. is just an incredible writer and, and performer. And I think I'm so glad, I'm so glad that he's been nominated and, and got some recognition for just the most incredible show. Really Anita and I were talking earlier about how vibrant this theater season has been yeah, you know loads. you know you it's eclectic and you know you're getting stuff from America but then homegrown stuff as yeah. well you know t talk a little bit about you know just the variety well, here in the West amazing End. variety and also it's um yeah there's there's so much I've I think I've only seen about 40% of the stuff that's, that's so you know, every t every time something comes up I go oh my god I wish I could see so that much. I tell you what, you it, what it stands out for me is the variety and how youthful yeah. theatre it just feels like there's such a, we're living in a resurgence of fresh yeah. and what, the, language I mean, and watching Patsy just win oh. that I think I mean she's the most extraordinary actor and I'm so happy for her winning that award I think she's just just brilliant uh, so, yeah. well we think you're brilliant oh, we Arthur, think you're brilliant and we would love you to have an amazing evening tonight oh, good luck Thank and you. make sure you get the right envelope yes, when you yes. get no, no, no. Yes. Yes. Lots of pressure. Yes. Don't mess up names. <laughs> All right. Good thank luck. You. Oh, thank you so much. Lovely to speak. Don't thank forget you. your champagne. Most important thing. And Sweet. we have another clip from earlier this evening. We're joined by Catherine McPhee and Jack McBrayer. How's your evening so far? This is amazing. Oh, Are you having a good time? Be a blast, yeah. Oh, for sure. This now, is so great. Now, Kate, you've been to the Tony Awards before, right? I have been to the Tony Awards. So the Olivier Awards are pretty fancy. They're very fancy. I feel very, like, regal. You look, you look, you look like a queen. Thank you. I must say, you look oh, sensational. You look very dapper. I feel Jack. like a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys having the best time doing Waitress over here in the West End? Yeah, I'm having Absolutely. a blast. It's so much fun. Uh, I love our cast. They've been so welcoming. They've taken me out to high tea and all sorts they of did? They didn't take me out to high tea. Just kidding, they wow. didn't. <laughs> What's the difference? I want to know the answer to that. What's the difference between a, a UK audience and an American audience? Is there a big difference? You know, I, I got sort of um, prepped before I came here that the audiences were more reserved here, but I haven't found that to be true. I mean, some of our more reserved audiences are maybe a little more reserved than an American audience, but I, I think every audience varies, and they really... This show in particular is like in a very emotional show and it's also very very funny so it kind of forces audiences to be involved and i haven't really found no they've been incredibly yeah, responsive they've been amazing. and they stick around afterwards. they love you yeah. We, we are quite reserved. Know. We don't <laughs> whoop. We don't whoop as much. No. <laughs> Although I have to say, they're raucous in there tonight. The, the Olivier Awards are like wild. Yes. Yeah. Because the yeah. Americans are I here. I think so. The Americans I think are you're here. leading the way. We did it, you guys. J Jack, did you see Thank Waitress you. in New York prior to signing to this? Not. This is all a new experience for me. Uh, but what a thrill to work with this. But uh, you also have never done theater before, right? Like sort of. I had done improvisational comedy back in Chicago and that kind of thing. But, but is it is very first, loose. Your first <laughs> stage. Me. You have Q. And you have a microphone and makeup. You have to make your mark. <laughs> it's a mess. I mean, I'm this is good. basically both of our first professional productions. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've, I did this in New York on Broadway, but it's I for my. She friend. originated it here. She, I mean, I saw you do it in, in New York, and you are fantastic. You are oh, Jenna. Thank you. People must see, and I can't wait to come see you, Jack. Now, how hands on was Sarah Bareilles with this production? Was she around at all? Yeah. She was. She came over quite a few times, and she just has the best energy and warmth, and, and it's so great to listen to what she has to offer us to make the show better. Yeah, she was super involved. I mean, she was with Diane Paulus, our director, just as much, basically. Um, I mean, she really puts in the work. It's, it's her It's her show, you know, it's, it's her music. It's such a beautiful score. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. do you have a favorite song you get to perform, Kat? Yeah, um... I, it's, I get kind of caught between uh, the the God I can't remember what it's she called. She used to be mine. No, uh, she used time. to be mine. First and time. He knows them. He knows all the words. He knows all the songs. Soft. He's ready. I'm He's ready. ready. I'm ready to go. I'm waiting in the wings. Uh, I really love. Get singing. ready, Jack. How dare you, sir? I'm a national treasure. Soft place to land. I remember yes. it now. Soft place to land love with the other 
girls who I sing it with, the two other waitresses. It's just, just like a special moment in the show. Oh. And how, do you get an opportunity to see much else whilst you're here? Or are you? No. no this That's is why the it's been such a treat to see all these live performances because I'm um, like, tell me everything. Yes. Uh, it's been phenomenal. I did I'm see Company, did. which was really you great. You did. I did. I got I to did. see it before we started. Like, what do you guys want to see after seeing the performances tonight? I want to see Come From Away. Yes. I want to see Come From Come Away. I want to see. I want to go see Lion King. <laughs> that yes. was awesome. That was great so opening. Such a beautiful would opening, and like we would never do that on Broadway. We would feature an old show that's been on. I mean, I don't think we. Well, it was so refreshing. It was beautiful. It's just such a beautiful show. I've forgotten how spectacular it is. There's not a time I don't see any Lion King clip or hear the music and don't have a tear in my eye. I, I, I've just Although, forgotten how beautiful it is. Saying tears in your in our eyes. I have never heard our national anthem sung so beautifully that by Beverly Knight. Beverly Knight. Didn't that set the tone? I enjoyed that very that much. That was quite a thing. <laughs> She's so special. You know, tonight we've been chatting to a bunch of folks about what inspires them when it comes to the mm. theater. So when I ask, how did you get involved with theater? When did you first fall in love with theater? Um, my mother. My mom did a lot of regional productions in California, so uh, I have really strong memories of my mom being absent for some of, my, not in like a negative way, but my dad would get take us in the car and we'd drive a few hours to go up north and see her in a production. Um, it was usually Showboat or Man of La Mancha. Um, so she, yeah, I think that's, it's, my mother is what, is the person that introduced it to me. So. Yeah. I just enjoyed making people laugh, and that was not appropriate in the classroom or church or anything like that. So let's try a theater. Fair enough. <laughs> and you were talking about seeing company and loving it, and actually we, you know, the, we had a performance earlier. There just seems to be a great variety of meaty roles for women on stage yeah. at the moment. That must be that must be great for you and just oh, I, watching I, it. it um, yeah, I mean, but waitress, I, I'm just so thankful every day that I get to play that part. It's just such a great beautiful role. Yes. Yeah, for several females, too. Yeah. yeah. A lot of girls. Celebration of female empowerment. empowerment. Absolutely. Well played, sir. Yeah. We will drink to that. <laughs> we'll drink to that. <laughs> um, have an amazing rest of the Thank show. You. Thank Enjoy you. your the night. The second act is starting. We're yes. going to let you apart. We're, we're going to let you go. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They need you on stage. They need <laughs> you. Go. It's Thank great you seeing you both. Yes, Thank sir. you, Kat. Thank Good you. seeing you. Thank you. Wasn't that fabulous? Anita, that was, I mean, that couch. Um, listen, we've got a glass of champagne to drink. We've had an incredible, this is our third year doing this. We've had the most Ladies wonderful evening. The second act is about seats. to begin. Everybody needs to take their seats, including us. So much fun. Cheers to Olivier's 2019. Until next year. <laughs> <laughs>